Hey, it's Melissa. I have strabismus, which is an eye condition where my eyes don't point in the same direction. And just in case you don't believe me because my eyes look straight right now, here is a picture of me just over a year ago. So I've gone through surgery and tons of therapy, getting my eyes to become straight and to work together. And one of the big questions I get asked is, can virtual reality help fix my lazy eye or strabismus or amblyopia? They, people use these terms interchangeably, even though they definitely don't mean the same thing. So this video is going to be all about whether virtual reality can help. And I'll just give the short answer, yes, definitely. I have gone through four different types of virtual reality throughout the last three years in vision therapy and I have gained so much through the use of um, virtual reality. Now, there's a lot more to it than that, so if you want more, then keep watching. In order to understand how virtual reality can help, first we need to understand what the problem is. So, we've got two different conditions. We've got strabismus, and that's where the eyes don't point in the same direction, and sometimes it's called squint, or exotropia, esotropia, hypertropia, wall-eyed, cross-eyed, lots of different nicknames. Basically, the eyes don't point the same direction. The other side, you have amblyopia, and that is where one eye is like really blurry and you can't correct it with glasses. And there's just like a, a missing connection between the brain and the eyes. So it's not that they need glasses, it's that the brain doesn't use both eyes correctly. That's like the very... <laughs> layman term of how that all works. But sometimes people have both strabismus and amblyopia. Sometimes strabismus causes amblyopia. Sometimes amblyopia causes strabismus. And they a lot of times go hand in hand. Lots of people have both, but it is possible to have straight eyes and amblyopia, one eye that doesn't work well. And it's possible to have strabismus and have both eyes that work really well. So there's a lot of different scenarios here, but those are the two main um, cases that I'm going to talk about today. So virtual virtual reality is really cool because I'm going to show you this. Inside the virtual reality, you can see there's two different screens and, and there's one for each eye. And so you can develop apps and games and programs so that each eye is seeing something different. So in a normal virtual reality game like Beat Saber or all these, there's a ton of games. It, they design it so that each eye has this different view and it creates a 3D world, kind of like how normal people with normal vision view the world. So a normal virtual reality app is not going to fix strabismus or amblyopia because it's just mimicking what we see in everyday life. So if that was going to fix it, so would walking around in everyday life. So normal apps aren't going to fix it. And maybe in some cases it can stimulate the other eye enough because it's like right there. But in more severe cases and in most cases, it's not going to make a difference to just play Beat Saber. But there are specific apps that have been designed to help with vision, <laughs> to help with strabismus, to help with amblyopia. So these apps use lots of different settings and there's three main settings that I think they use that are really helpful. So one, they use blur and contrast so that they can make it so that one eye is really seeing a blurry image. Like for example, this is my weak eye, this is my strong eye. So they'd make it so that my weak eye gets this like really great contrast, beautiful picture on my weak eye. And then my strong eye gets a more blurred picture. So they're still both looking at the same scene, a second way that these apps make adjustments for people like me is they make the games dichoptic. And what that means is that certain parts of the game can be seen with both eyes, certain parts can be seen with the weak eye, and certain parts can be seen with the strong eye. And what that does is it makes it so that both eyes have to be working. For example, if you're playing ping pong, the weak eye would see the ball the strong eye would only be able to see the racket. And so in order to play the game, you'd have to be using both at the same time. Another awesome tool is using Prism. So Prism is when, so that if I'm looking forward at my camera and this eye is not looking at the camera, 
it moves the camera over to where my eye is looking so that both eyes are looking at a camera and my brain can learn to put those two pictures together and to get that fusion and depth, hopefully, eventually. So all of these settings can be used together if the patient needs all of them or certain settings can be used for certain people. And it definitely depends on the type of virtual reality program that you're using. Right now, there's two different programs that are designed by an optometrist that are fantastic for treating strabismus and amblyopia. They're Vivid Vision and Optics Trainer. And I have videos about those that you can watch if you want to know all of those details. They both have games that use the tychoptic exercises, prism, blur, all of the different things that I've talked about in this video. They have all of it. So they're very comprehensive. There's another one coming out right now called, oh great, now I can't forget, Lumen, Lumen something, <laughs> Luminopia, Luminopia. And it is made by ophthalmologists basically to replace patching. So you get on and you basically just watch videos where one of your eyes is more blurred out, your strong eye is blurred and your weak eye can see really well. And so it's basically a replacement for patching, but way more fun and effective. So I'm excited to see what that's all about. It's coming out in 2022, the second quarter. So anytime now. And that's all. Virtual reality is an awesome tool. I think that anyone with strabismus or amblyopia should definitely look into it. You do need to go through an optometrist or an ophthalmologist, and I have a lot more information about how to do that on my website, strabismussolutions.com. If you want to know more about virtual reality, there's a whole section dedicated just for the different programs that are offered on my website. So definitely go check that out and keep watching these videos if they're helping you. If you have lots of questions and you want to talk to me, you can schedule a consult at strabismussolutions.com slash consult and I can help you through whatever you're going through and get you pointed in the right direction so that you can get your eyes working together and straight. Have a great day.